Hello everybody and welcome to my 28th Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This is a battle against Tanya. As you can see, she has a very good looking team. I have my uh, pretty much my regular team with the exception that instead of Greninja, I have um, um, geez, that Pokemon. Oh, and yeah, the Witzer. And everybody on her team is shiny, so you can expect a lot of sparkling in this match. Now, uh, she goes for a Sucker Punch, while I go for the Aura Sphere and say, get the hell out of here for that Absol. Absolutely wrecked it. Um, I'm losing some HP. My clothes are doing work already, just got in. And that Manny Buzz is going to be a pain in the ass in this match. I have to switch out. Don't want to get. Um, I, I, wa I want to get to my uh, setter. And I don't want to get hit by this Brave Bird. Which Klefki is definitely going to take well. Yeah, definitely. Um, Manny Buzz is damaged by Recoil, but it gains uh all the le the its health back pretty much um now she withdraws her Mandy buzz and goes into espion which is not shiny okay so i i thought i remembered everybody here was shiny i just go for the play rough i get 50 percent damage on this espion which is great and she gets crit with the psychic on me i just go for another play rough Hoping to get the Espeon out, and I do, which is sweet. So I already uh, KO'd two of her Pokemon. Major threats, actually. Absol and Espeon, which is great for me. And now I just raise my uh, defense with the Reflect. She probably predicted me to do something with this Toxic, or maybe forgot that uh, I'm immune. And here I just want to safe switch. Maybe if she'll decide to toxic again, um, but no, she decides to go for the Brave Bird, gets critical hit, and Dokuyaki's air balloon is popped. Basically, me getting in him is just so I could get the knockoff on this Mandibuzz and get rid of its annoying leftovers, which I do right now. So, basically, my uh, Dokuyaki is here to sack himself just to get this one knockoff on this Mandibuzz. But you know what, it's done its work and yeah, he took this Brave Bird like a boss. Now the thing is with Dokuyaki, I never know what to do with him except of this knockoff thing. Because I have a really weird set with him. So right now I just decided to go for the Aqua Ring for some fucking stupid reason. And I lose him with a crit. Um, now at least the Mandy Buzz doesn't have the uh, recovery with the leftovers anymore. Here I decided to go for a Boom Burst, and it doesn't do way too much actually. I thought it would do more, I didn't, and I get the Toxic on my Recruit, which is, uh, I guess it's fine, could be worse. Now the Mandy Buzz goes for, goes for the Protect to stall my Dracul and it's Boom Burst and to get some more Toxic off on him um, and now she withdraws and goes into Frostlass which is very annoying to me because this means a third turn of Toxic and she's immune to the Boom Burst of course I can't change my moves since I have the choice specs um, so I have to switch out right now Obviously, she knows it. And I go into my Klefki. And now, she goes for the Ice Beam. It doesn't do way too much. Klefki can handle this. And I go for a Light Screen, knowing that even an Ice Beam wouldn't kill me now that I um, have the Light Screen on. And I do live this with 8 HP. And now I basically sack my Klefki, I don't see any use of him with 8 HP, so I just go for these spikes, and the Frost Last goes for Thunderbolt, getting rid of my Klefki, but you know what, it did its job, I have a light screen for like 
seven more turns, I think. So that's good. And now I decide to get out with my Mega Kangaskhan, which I decide to not Mega Evolve yet. Just for the fake out on the Frostlast with the Scrappy ability. Um, and I do go for the fake out. And obviously she predicted it, went out into her Milo tick. And now I decide to go for the Mega Evolution, basically ridding myself of a chance to hit the Frostlass with a fake out ever, but I can do other stuff to that Frostlass, no worries. Um, so the Milo tick goes for an Ice Beam, which does absolutely nothing. Mega Cannon is gone a freaking time. Critical hit, Earthquake, boom, my Milo tick is down has frail defenses anyways, so yeah, Mega Genghis Khan now with the power up punch, which does actually decent damage considering this is a Manda Buzz, so Mega Genghis Khan sitting here, plus 2 attack, uh, and the Manda Buzz is going to go for a Toxic, and it's going to be um freaking menace again, this Manda Buzz was the biggest threat threat for my team this whole match and it goes for protect I of course should have predicted it but I stayed in went for another power up punch should have switched into somebody else dealt with this annoying ass man buzz whatever now I decide to switch out I go into my Dracul again um, and she decides to switch out I basically predicted her to switch out. What I didn't predict is her switching out to her Sceptile. And a shiny Sceptile, I have to say, it looks amazing. Um, and my Dracul, of course, is going to be hurt by the fucking poison. And the Sceptile starts with the same stalling shenanigans. Jeez, this is starting to get annoying. With the protect and the protect and all that stuff. And my light screen is already off. And now she decides to switch out her Sceptile, which would obviously die to an Air Slash. And brings out the Frost Slash. But you know what? Air Slash from uh, Raccoon. Nobody wants to take that. Definitely not a critical hit. And the Frost Slash goes down. Raccoon is a freaking powerhouse. Love you, Northern. Um, now she sends out her Manda Buzz again and I decided to switch out knowing that another turn or two from the toxic would kill me and she would probably go for protect so I go into my mega tanks now and she goes for the protect but fails um and our mega tanks now is going to lose some HP I go for the fake out which would take this mandibuzz out that nuisance Yes, thank you. Um, yup. And now I lose some more HP to the poison. She goes out to her septile. Man, it looks so sweet. Um, and I go for the sucker punch, predicting the attack. And the sucker punch is going to be enough. It would have been enough if it didn't have a berry. The second hit is going to hit going to make it in the red zone. Sceptile is going to go for the grass knot and it's going to take out my Mega Kangas Khan with a crit. Man, I want to use a Mega Sceptile so much. Um, here I simply go for the uh, Dracula and she knows that two turns won't be enough to, for him to die from the toxic. So she just goes for the energy ball as a last ditch effort to kill him, which doesn't work, and I kill her with the air slash. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this battle. You enjoyed this battle. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you didn't, please click dislike and tell me what is wrong in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again for watching, and see you in my next Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi battle.